Well, Mr. Jason. Back for more, huh, Miss Addie? All right. Just you? Uh, you took out Dad, huh? Well, he didn't. He said he didn't want to do a second class because it's foot. Got it. Got it. So you. But I need all the help I can get. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sounds good. We're gonna get started here momentarily. We're gonna give it another minute. How are you? Good. You you're gonna be you're gonna be okay for tomorrow, right? Yeah. Six o'clock. Okay. All right. Because I I will be here probably. I'll be back right about seven. Because I have to go. I have to go out east and pick up the the belts for um, my first degrees. So. No, you can stay. Okay. I'm stay. I'll just make sure like Natalie goes home because the the people in class that takes into account with me, Natalie and Isaiah too. That's why. So when I don't have them, that can I have flexibility. And, so yeah. No, I know it's always hard. All right. So all right, uh, Miss Green, Mr. Morkin here. Uh, Mr. Patrick on the back there. Yeah, back. <laughs> All right, Miss Victoria up front. All right, let's go and get started from here. Chit up. Face flags. Come on. Face me, please. Chit up. Come on. Let's warm it up a little bit. Hands in the hips. We're going to turn and hold our neck to the left side. Up. Set. Net. Set. You set. You go. You do. Hope. Yay! Other side. Hana! Do it! Set! Net! The sun! You sun! You go! You do it! Hope! Yay! It's time chin down into the chest. Hana! Do it! Set! Net! The sun! You sun! You go! You do it! Hope! Yay! And up. From here this time, hands together, waist rotation, two counts to the left. Two counts to the right. Ready? Hana! Do it! Set! Net! Do it! Do it! Set! Net! Set! Do it! Set! Net! Net! Do it! Set! Net! The sun! Do it! Set! Net! The sun! Do it! Set! Net! Your group! Do it! Set! Net! You do it! Do it! Set! Net! I hope! Do it! Set! Net! Yo! Do it! Set! And then feet together now, hands on your knees, rotate your knees. Hana! Do it! Set! Net! The sun! You sun! Your go! You do it! I hope! 
열 other way 하나 둘셋넷 여섯 여섯 일곱 여덟 아홉 열 All right, spread your feet two shoulders apart. Keep your feet straight ahead. Don't turn your feet when you turn to the side. All right, turn to your right side and try and touch your head to your knee. Hana, dui, set, net, set, and hold. Hold that stretch. Just a slightly different angle to this stretch by keeping your feet straight and not turning them. You'll probably find that it's a little bit harder to go down. A little bit tighter. And up, other side, same thing. Hana, two, set, net, set, and hold, hold that stretch. And up to the middle now. Just lean forward. Try and get your elbows to the floor. Don't move your feet, though. Hana, two, set, net, set, and hold. Hold that stretch. And uh, good. Go ahead and sit down. Legs open up as wide as you can. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees. You're going to reach out and grab your toes. Then you're going to straighten out your legs. Keep a hold of those. Keep a hold of your feet. And then just lean forward and hold that stretch. Panam! Three! Set! 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 You said, you go, you die. I hope, yay. And uh, feet together now. All right, bend your knees, grab a hold of your toes, straighten out your knees, all right, and pull your toes back towards you. Try to lift your heels up off the ground if you can. Hana, yay. Set. Net, set, you set, you go, you die, I hope, yay. And uh, bums of the feet together now, butterfly stretch. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to push down with your hands, push your knees down. At the same time, lift, trying to lift your knees up. Okay, ready, hana, doi, set, net, set, set, you go, you doi, I hope, doi, and relax, good. All right, stand up, turn around, fix your toe box, shake out the legs a little bit. All right, Mr. Ferreria and your son, you guys can pair up. Patrick, let's have you and Victoria pair up here. And then Ms. Green, Mr. Morgan pair up. All right, real quick, face your partners. Miss Addy, you and I are partners, all right? Get it, and Gyeongnam. All right, Chumbi. All right, let's work on some one-step sparring, one steps. All right, we're gonna start with leg only. Leg only, one steps. Okay, so we're gonna start with right hand punching. Anytime the right hand punches, you wanna step back with your right leg to create space. Remember that the punch comes, right now when we practice, we always punch slow. We always punch at a moderate pace. We're not trying to punch to injure. In real life, people are gonna punch full speed as fast as they can. So if you don't move out of the way, right, you're gonna get punched, you're gonna get hit. 
right? And especially when we're using our leg techniques, we need to create space because our legs are longer than hands. So we wanna get out of the range. So when you step back into your fighting stance with the right leg back, yeah, you can slide back a little bit, that's okay, right? All the first few of these crescent kick ones is gonna be the right leg outside in crescent kick, okay? Knocking the hand out of the way. Now what this does is when the hand gets knocked out of the way, it's gonna open up the chest area, okay? The open side. So typically, right, you've got three side kick ones, right? So you've got the right leg crescent kick without putting it down right into a side kick into the chest, okay? You've also got the crescent kick one down stomach level. If you got good flexibility, stomach level side kick, and then a face level side kick. Now what happens with the double kick is the first kick, when you kick them in the stomach, what happens to their, what happens to their body position? They go down, so it's a little bit easier to kick the head, right? So you don't have to kick here and here, right? You kick here and then here, right? So like belly level and chest level, okay? That's what you get for your double, all right? Okay, you've also got crescent kick one, right? Putting it down and then reverse side kick with the opposite leg. You got crescent kick, putting it down, turn reverse spinning hook kick as well all right so you've got four right now just real quick easy ones i know you already know this but i want you to kind of especially for those of you testing for black belts right that are testing this weekend or this uh, later this week you want to make sure you want to target where are you blocking is your crescent kick so high that you miss the block right wherever they're punching because a lot of times I see people when they kick, the crescent kick goes over the hand, right? You need to be able to get your foot to the target. So if my target, if someone's punching here, I need to make sure my crescent kick is here, even though we always practice crescent kick being face level, okay? So let's work on those crescent kick ones for just a little bit, okay? So remember, right leg steps back. So you're doing right hand punch. Those of you who have to do both sides, actually everyone here has to do both sides so whenever the left hand punches then you step back with the left leg and you'll do the left leg crescent kick outside in crescent kick okay all right go ahead and work on those for a little bit please all right all right miss addy so if i punch here step back no no we're doing right leg no no you want to step back with your right leg if my right hand is punching step back with your right leg then you do your crescent kick one two yep Okay. Okay, so go ahead and do the other ones. One, two, yep. Balance though, right? Okay, do the double side kick one. So move that out of the way. One, two. There you go. Good. Okay. Spin hook. There you go. Good. Okay, good. Okay, so now if we do that left side, right? Now you step back with the left leg from their fighting position. One, there you go, right? Okay, so one, two, nice, good. One, two, yep, balance though, balance, okay. And then the double. There you go. Okay. Work on those. You need to work on that left side a little bit. All right. So. Okay, let's go, guys. Right now. Just for now. Yep. Make sure targeting, right? Make sure that. Spin hook is face level, right? If you cannot kick face level, you should not be doing a spin hook. Let's just put it that way, okay? We don't spin hook to the body, right? You should be focusing on reverse side kick if you're going to the body, if you can only kick to the body, okay? All right. All 
Just make sure you keep your eye on your target as well, right? As you're doing these movements. If you do it like that, that's fine. It's going to be fine. No, that's fine. Is your brother coming? So here's what I want to ask you. Because you mentioned things in there about like the women's body. So do you think for my son, is it bad if it's like if you're if you can come in with your partner and your mom and your brother? Is that okay? No, that's fine. Cool. Because um, I, I really want to listen. Well, that's why I don't care about the Zoom. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to work with him then on the one steps and takedowns and all that? Okay. So, yeah, just have him do that then. Um, No force him to. So, and then you can kind of choreograph it if you want it to, like for the self defense or whatever kind of things. So, okay. Okay. So, any questions right now with the the crescent kick motion? All right. So, kind of keep in mind this. All right. So, we did this to move the hand open, right? And we're attacking to the open side. Now we can also attack to the closed side. Right, so if my right hand is punching, I can step back with my left leg and I can do an outside inside crescent kick. And what that does now is it moves my hand this way. Okay, once again, you've got a side kick. You can do the, you can do the crescent kick, side kick to the side. It goes right into the body, that's one. You can do a double side kick as well, right? Where you go low, you go at the front leg, right? Front leg and then into the body, so knee level, body level for your double side, right? You also have coming around one, you can do reverse side kick as well to the side. The only problem with these is that the target is thinner, if you realize, right? When here like this, you've got a wide target, right? When you come to the open side, when you come to the closed side, it's a lot thinner. You have to be more accurate, but you can do it, okay? So you got reverse side kick, here, and then you also got spin hook to the face, to the head, okay? So try those on the close side. Do those crescent kick motions on the close side now. So if right hand is punching, left leg goes back into your fighting stance. If left hand is punching, right leg goes back in their fighting stance, okay? All right, let's go and try. So I'm punch right hand, Miss Addy. So you'll step back with your, your left. There you go, good. And then do your crescent, one, good. All right, do your crescent again. Try that double side, one. Oh, spin hook, perfect. That's okay. That spin hook looks nice, I like it. One, there you go, good. Now how about the reverse side kick one? There you go, good. Okay, so now if my left hand punches, then step back with your right leg. There you go. Yep. There you go. <laughs> we got to work on that a little bit. There you go. There you go, good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let you work on those a little bit. All right, just kind of work on the balance and everything. Mm -hmm. You just gotta get your distance down, right? Because you don't wanna have to pull kicks, all right? 
you should be you should be kicking all the way right you shouldn't that you should right this tells me here right if when you do that let's say you did that reverse side so you did your crescent kick here here and then you have to do this right that means you don't know how to manage your space right because guess what happens right if he gets in this close when you get ready to do reverse kick even if you're kicking hard you're not going to be able to get any power in it you understand what i'm saying that's why it's important here right you get back here one that way you can get a full kick in right even if you kick a little bit side off of the side a little bit right get in as close as you can as close to the target okay because i guarantee you practice doing this right when you're smart you do the same thing you don't kick it's a habit it's a bad habit to do okay all right No, that won't work. You're not going to be able to reach her with a crescent kick. All right, told you, right? Side kick, double side kick, reverse side kick, reverse spinning hook kick. Those are your... All right, so there was... I, I've seen instances where people do crescent kick and then they do another crescent kick. So they do crescent kick one and then try to do the crescent kick the other way. You can't reach. You're not going to hit anything. Remember, you're hitting the hand here. So you move it out of the way. You're going to be able to cover two feet of distance to get them in the body or the head. Actually, a crescent kick is a head kick. So you're going to be able to cover two feet of distance after you do your one crescent kick. Very difficult to. All right? So I, don't do this one. That one doesn't work. Okay? Okay. So any questions thus far? That's basically 16 techniques, right? Eight on each side so far, just with the crescent kick, right? Okay, so there's another option for the crescent kick, which is the inside out crescent kick motion, All right? So when they punch with their right hand, you're gonna step back with your left leg, but instead of coming outside in like we just did, this time you're gonna come inside out, one, here, and then you'll step out basically don't bring it all the way back to your fighting pant stance position when you go into your fighting stance you come in place it down right next to you a little bit wider than your normal chumbi stance and then with the opposite leg you can do a, a roundhouse kick you can do a side kick you can do a front kick all right you've got those three kick options you can also do here you can also do a hook kick if you want to right if you're if you can kick high enough right because you won't hook kick to the body okay yeah roundhouse hook yes but it takes too long to all right so but yes you can all right you would do roundhouse kick to the inner thigh and then hook kick to the face all right so okay so work on those the inside out crescent kick motion one place it down roundhouse kick or front kick or side kick or hook kick. Okay. You can do a double kick if you want to. Your double kick should be double side kick, double roundhouse kick, or roundhouse hook kick. No double fronts. Okay. All right, Miss Addy, you ready to try? So here from here. So step back with your left leg. Then you do your inside out crescent kick. That moves my hand this way. Place it. No, no, no. Place it to the side. Don't bring it here and bring it all the way back behind you. One, two, and then trans transfer your weight right into the next kick. So once you open it up, boom, go ahead and do your kick. One, there you go, yep. Okay. You can do the same thing with a side kick. We can do the same thing with a front kick. You just need to make sure, yep, once you do the crescent, one, Boom, bring, bring it down to the side, directly to the side. So if I'm here, right, on this line here, if I start here, boom, I want to land on this line. That way I can go here or go here. 
Okay. Roundhouse kick and side kicks are the easiest ones to do with this inside out motion. But the thing is, right, it is slow, but if you hit the first one good, boom, right there, right? That buys your time. And then what is she going to do? Oh, I'm going to scoot down, and then boom, you can get that second one in. But you have to hit that first one, all right? So that's what, once again, just a targeting issue. So you want to make sure you, you show, think about where you want to hit. You don't necessarily want to hit, like, with the in, roundhouse kick to the instep, you don't want to hit the knee, right? I want to aim here, boom, all right? Because that's going to give you that stinger. All right. Okay. No, 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 step, step, no, no, so, so no reverses, right? So from here, sir, you want to, once you do your crescent here, step straight out to the side. If you, if you go here and you do this and you come back here, you give him time to come in. He's going to come in with a second punch because you haven't heard him. See, that's the thing. So from here, we have to, when he punches here, one, I want to go right into this right away. So I don't want to bring it back here because then that just invites him to come in for a second punch. Okay, sir? Mm -hmm. You can shuffle back a little bit. You can't shuffle a lot, right? You're not going to necessarily shuffle back. You're just going to right, slide back. Slide back. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick break, get some water if you need it, and then come back with, to your partners. So that gives us 12 so far with crescent kicks. All right, we got 12 with just crescent kick only. There's still lots more with just leg only. How's Montana, sir? All right, so continuing on with this theme of leg only one steps, right? We're going to go ahead and now incorporate our sidestepping, our yup steps, all right? So the first one, basically, when your opponent punches with the right hand, you're going to step to the side, okay? Now, you can step two ways. You can step directly to the side, right? Going into a front stance, going directly to the side, Right, and then doing a side kick, kind of diagonal. Yeah, that's one. You can, if you want to, you can use an angled sidestep, meaning that I'm gonna step kind of at a 45 degree angle toward my opponent with my left leg, one, into that front stance, and then side kick more sideways instead of forward, okay? So you got two options here on the sidestep. Side step into a front stance, side kick, or roundhouse kick, all right? What you want to do is, because we're sidestepping, right, we want to act quickly, right? 
Typically, if you're gonna go straight out to the side, I recommend side kick at an angle. If you're gonna step forward, then I recommend roundhouse kick into the stomach, okay? All right, so work on that side step one just real quick. So if left, le if left hand is punching, then you're gonna do everything to the opposite side. So we're gonna go to the right side. One, left leg kicks, okay? Right leg here, step to the side, left leg kicks. That's with the left hand punching. Okay, if right hand's punching, then the right leg is kicking, stepping to your left, all right? Go ahead and practice. Okay, ready, Eddie, boom. No, 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 no. I want you to do the side kick or the roundhouse kick. Uh-uh-uh. Step to the side, one, straight to a front stance to the side. And then, no, 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 you wanna step this way, sir. Step this way, left foot, yep. Remember, if my right hand is punching, you're moving your left foot, you're kicking with your right leg. So if you step directly to the side, it should be a side kick toward me. If you're gonna step forward toward me into a front stance, then it's gonna be a roundhouse kick underneath my punch into my stomach. Okay, you have to understand that. If I'm stepping to the side, then it's a side kick. If I'm stepping angled and forward, then it's a roundhouse kick. Boom, yep. Mm -hmm. You can do side kick too, but it's, it's a lot easier. It's more fluid with the roundhouse kick. It kind of falls into place. A little bit easier, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, come into the stomach. Wrong side, Mr. Patrick. Step to your left. If your right hand is punching, you step to the left, and then you kick with the right. And then it's roundhouse kick. If you're stepping to the side, it's side kick. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, so you've got basically four variations, right? You can do sidestep, side kick, sidestep, roundhouse kick. You can do a forward sidestep, roundhouse kick, or forward sidestep, side kick too. That's, you, can do it, you can do it interchangeably. Typically, it's a lot easier to do the roundhouse kick when you're moving forward, side kick when you're moving sideways, all right? Either one is okay. You just wanna make sure that you're attacking on the, the close side, right? The side where the punch, the same side that the punching arm is coming from. You don't want to attack on the open side, okay? Here's an instance here. Come here real quick, Mr. Francisco. So from here, right, if, if he punches and I go to this open side here to try to do my side kick or roundhouse kick, right, he can just step in as I'm getting ready to kick. The reason why we go to the close side is because we eliminate the use of the free hand. 
He's got to he's got to adjust his body to be able to get that other hand toward me. And while while he adjusts, boom, I can hit him. Okay, that's why we go to that elbow side. Yes, you can go to the side. There's nothing wrong with that, but typically it's going to be too slow because by the time you start lifting, he's already moving into that second attack. Okay, there is not going to be a person if they see you move after one, they're going to try to do something. Two, they're not going to just stand there and go, oh, I wonder what they're going to do for me. I wonder what they're going to do. I'm going to wait and see. No, they're going to attack. So, so we got to keep that in mind. That's why we go to the opposite side. All right. Okay. So now if we are going to the same side or excuse me, a little bit more advanced now, right? Some of you guys like using reverse kicks, right? Not necessarily practical for self-defense purposes. Right, but they can be useful if you are quick enough and if you have good balance. So when they a punch with the right hand, okay, what you're gonna do with your right leg is step across your body. So you'll step to your left with your right leg. Okay, right. That way I go to that close side, and then with my left leg, I'll do a reverse side kick. Okay, this is really the only feasible kick. Okay. Reverse spinning hook kick will not work because the punch is coming in. And when you get that leg up, you're going to get punched in the leg. That's why reverse spinning hook kick doesn't work. Okay. So from here, it's just a side step and then reverse side kick at an angle. Okay. So it's a straight side step stepping across here. Right. So what I recommend here is when you're standing here in the chumi position, bring that right foot straight across to the left into a front stance. One. Right, put all your weight on that right leg, lift, and then throw your reverse side kick at an angle. Okay, and what should happen is that you're going to probably nail them right underneath the armpit into the rib cage. All right, that's what you're targeting. Okay, a good reverse side kick as they're stepping into that, you're going to break a rib. They're not going to be fighting you very long with a broken rib. Okay, all right, let's try that one real quick. So remember, you guys are going to the close side. So, Miss Eddie, you'll step across with your right leg. Don't kick your cat. Well, I guess you could kick your cat if you want to. All right. Okay. All right. Try the other side now. So, if left hand is punching, left foot comes across to the right. One. And then two. Okay. You have to kick at an angle, though. That's the key. Don't kick straight forward towards your opponent. You have to, because you're, you're turning to the side, you have to kick at an angle, right? One, I don't want to kick straight in front. I want to kick at an angle toward the line that I moved off of. Mm -hmm. Boom. No, you want to step across with your right leg, Mr. Patrick. Step across your body to your left, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a it's just a crossover step. Boom. Two. Yep. yep. Step into that front stance. That way all your weight's here and then easier to just easier to pick up. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It, that makes it the quickest. Uh, even though it's not practical, it, it's not and it's not a practical technique. You don't want to, right? Why would I want to show my back? Right? I really, in self-defense, I really don't want to do that. But I want to have options, right? Right? Yeah, I can do this one much easier. It's a lot easier, right? Because I can keep my eye on my opponent, right? But it, once again, you want to have variety. It's okay to try this, right? It's okay because here it's a safe environment. 
we can make a mistake. And yeah, you know, if he hits me here, oh, I know I didn't move fast enough. All right. But it's about being able to move fast and quickly react. All right. So. Okay, so another option would be to move across to the open side, All right? So if we're gonna go to the open side, you're gonna do a spin hook, okay? This one, once again, it's not practical, all right? If we're looking for practicality, we wanna keep it simple. But for us here, it's okay to practice these types of things in this safe environment to get used to it because you need to learn how to throw your kicks properly, all right? So if you, have a, if you cannot throw a reverse spinning hook kick very well, right? And you can't miss Addy with your cat all up on your leg, right? But, right, if you can't throw a spin hook very well, then you should not be doing this technique, right? But when we step to the open side, so when they punch with the right hand, I'm gonna step across with my left one, and then with my right leg, I'm gonna come sweeping across the face, right? When you do this reverse spinning hook kick, you need to do it as if you're pointing your toes, like a roundhouse kick, right? We want a roundhouse kick kind of spin hook. That way we're trying to hit their face with our toes. Right, hit the face with the toes. So you have to step across, lift, and then hook. Okay, now if you are a high kicker, right, this is not going to work for you. You're going to miss their head. Right, there are a lot of people who like to kick high with this. They lean back and they kick like this. Doesn't work. You have to be able to reach. Right, most of your opponents are going to be your height. Right, or slightly taller, not very. Most opponents aren't going to be like way up here. All right, so you want to make sure you want it practical. So, once again, sidestep across one, lift, and then throw your hook. All right. All right, if you have a hard time with that, just throw it as a reverse side kick. You can do that too. All right, you just hope that your reverse side kick is faster than their second punch. All right. Okay. So, all right, go ahead and practice that. So that gives you, right. That gives you 16 different options, right? 32 on both sides. If we count them both. All right. Leg only techniques. And I'm not even done. There's more leg techniques that we're, we're not going to get to tonight. So, all right. So I just giving you a whole bunch of options with the sidestepping and the crescent kick. Correct, because you're going to be attacking the open side. See, if you don't step enough, right? It's too close, all right? Boom, see, that's what we want. All right, because that eliminates you. If you're in too close, then you're going to kick the hand. You're going to be here. You're going to end up kicking this hand. If you're out here, you can hit them. See, right there. Boom, scrape. That's what we want. So step across. One, and then you'll lift him. Boom. Yep. I think I was a little too close. There. Well, part of it too is you know his positioning's off too. He's not in a very good stance when he's punching. So. Uh. One and then pop. Yep. Yeah. And the reason for that sidestep is because if you if you don't sidestep it. All right, when he punches, if you want to go like this, then guess what happens here? You're going to run right into this punch, all right? All right, so that's where, that's why it's important for here. Go, boom, here. That way you can whip and come across, all right? That way you get, that way the hand's not in the way of you get kicking it, all right? And that's why we're trying to, you know, do this thing, right? With the toes, right? That's what we're trying to do. Slap them across the face with the toes. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. No, no, it's practice. 
You see, that's good. That's a good range there, all right? You just have to be careful if you're practicing full speed, right? You have to be able to exercise control with that. So, yeah. yeah it just depends on how, you know, some people though, right? And here's one thing, all right? So, no, no, I, I'll do it for you. All right? There's people that go like this. Okay, go ahead. I'll do it. One, all right? Okay. You see how close that is, right? For you, all right? Now there's other people that go like this. Oh, yeah. All right? So now I'm really into your space, right? So now if you go that way, right? That works a little bit better if they go, right? It's just going to depend, right? So if I'm only going to punch you to here, one, all right? Sure, that works, right? But then what happens if I'm going all the way into your space? All right? But that's going to be way too, right? The amount of time it takes you to do that. All right? Because watch. From here, you make your move now. <clears throat> that's why you have to be quick, right? That's why you, you move and you start kicking. So boom, bam. That's what you need to work on. Now, see, as you're doing this, right, your partner, if they're not paying attention or if they're goofing off, then, right, and you do it, right, you're going to get, they're going to kick them. You'll kick them. All right. That's why it's important to understand both pieces, both sides. All right. This is just as important. Right. Right. If you punch like this, right, you throw a lot of stuff off. Right. Right. And, but dad should be able to adjust. Right. Any black belt that you work with, they should be able to adjust if you punch like this or if you punch like this. What do we want? We want people to punch like this because we're practicing technique. Right? But the reality is what happened. Huh? Right? Some people you, you work with, they just punch like this. All right? They only punch here. All right? So you have to be able to work with what you got. So if I'm only punching here, then you can, you can adjust, right? You can lean in a little bit, yep, and come in that way and then still do it. Hmm? All right? All right. Any last minute questions on these leg techniques? Leg only. Okay. All right. That's good. That's all I have for you guys tonight. So tomorrow's the last day of training for the week. Thursday and Friday, we have belt testing. So um, if I don't see you guys tomorrow, we'll see you guys next week. All right. Class dismissed. Good job, everyone. Okay. Good night. Good night, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. See you later, Miss Hattie. Come, Samida. Come, Maneo.